Hi, I'm Marshall. I'm the owner of Going Gear, and I'm here in our store in Smyrna, Georgia. This is the quick and dirty review of the Phoenix TK76 flashlight. Okay, here is the Phoenix TK76. Five different buttons controlling three LEDs, each with their own separate area and reflector or optic. You've got indicator LEDs on the side showing the output level. Whole lot going on with this light. Uh, it's only powered by 18650s, so it's powered by four 18650 batteries, which I already have in there. Have Olight 3400 milliamp hour 18650s in here. Um, unlike a lot of lights that take 18650s, no CR123s, no RCR123s, so keep that in mind. But uh, you can get bundles with the batteries and charger and everything from us, save you a little bit of money. 2800 lumens on max output for an hour and 10 minutes. Seven lumens if you're just using a single one of the heads for 200 hours. And then uh, on your beam distance, you get 450 meters on that max output. And you can always get the full specs on our site. Okay, so let's talk about the LEDs that you have in here. So this big main one, Cree XML2 LED, with a nice big deep reflector. So that's going to be your thrower. You've got a neutral white XML2 uh, with a diffuse uh, optic on there to give you just a nice wide spread open beam. And another flood one over here that's a cool white XML2. So a lot of different options. You'll see that better when we go outside. Let's talk about the interface that you have on here. So you have five buttons. This one right here is your power switch. Press it, it'll turn all three LEDs on. Press it again, it'll turn all three LEDs off. This is your instant turbo button. Hold it and it'll give you instant uh, access to turbo. So that's gonna be all three LEDs at max output. And then press and hold it for five seconds or more and you have constant on until the batteries run out. You can actually control each LED individually. So that's what these other three buttons are. So if you have it turned on and you tap, so I'm pushing the button all the way on the right. You can see I'm controlling that LED down there. And you have buttons that'll control the other two as well. You can turn them off individually press and hold the corresponding button and it'll turn the LED off. And then you can turn them on individually as well. So if you have them all three turned off, press and hold and it'll turn that LED on. You also have some flashing modes. So if you press and hold the power button, it'll turn all three on in strobe for one second. That's when you press and hold for one second, press and hold for three seconds and it'll be SOS. And there's no memory on those. There is memory on all the different output modes. Uh, if you turn it on or if you turn it off and then turn it back on and you saw the indicator LEDs to show you the output level what you have it in currently okay so that is the interface of the TK76 definitely not super simple but if you read the user manual play around with it a little bit it's pretty easy to use after you do that so let's go ahead and take the TK76 outside and we'll show you how it does outside all right we're outside with the Phoenix TK76 let's go ahead and turn it on show you what this thing can do we'll go ahead and Make sure they're all cranked up to max output and uh, kind of shine it around. So you can see a pretty good combination of just about everything. So you get that bright part in the center, you get the throw of the hot spot, you get wide area lighting, and you can individually control the LEDs. So we'll turn them all off and then we'll turn on that flood one. So that's the cool white flood. You can see the different levels. Great for up close kind of stuff if you want to put it on low and uh, you don't get the tunnel vision effect that you get with the bright one in the center. So we'll try that one next. Get that bright one in the center for distance. Great throw on that. And if you want to see a, a more in-depth video where we go out to a longer distance and talk about all this stuff a little bit more, check the link in the description. I have an extended review. But that's the center one. And then there is my favorite, the neutral white flood one. You can see just a super floody beam. Great for up close kind of stuff or just lighting up a really wide area. We'll cycle through the different levels of that. Really cool light, lots of versatility, lots of control over what you want to do. You can turn all the LEDs on, turn them all off, you know, control the different levels on them. Pretty cool light. So there you go. That's the Phoenix TK76. If you like it, you can buy it from us at goinggear.com. And again, we have an extended review. We go into all this more uh, in depth. And that's it. Thanks for watching.